And um, the initial verse, the instant beings uh, possess a deeply hidden nature, uh, which I'll come to later, we can apply the hidden potential for this natural wisdom. Forgetting the inner deluded by the outer, whatever we seek, we cannot attain, just as we cannot grasp a reflection in a great perfect mirror. And um, so all this, generally speaking, is about um, we're seeking everything outside, which I'll, again, I'll come to, uh, to that in the master's explanation in the next slide. What is Sotras at the first ground? Have an experience of listening to the, the Dharma, so they apply it and obtain the Dharma joy of the nature. And I, now I, I don't know a lot about the, the, the what you call the, the ten Bhumis. The ten Bhumis are what you call the grounds of Bodhisattva food. And uh, based on my understanding, my lower limited understanding, uh, there are ten uh, Bhumis. Although uh, some masters say, there are more than 10, but the first ground is the first Bhumi. And, um, and the first Bhumi is um, what you call a state of uh, complete joy. And that's why in Master's teaching today is about uh, the joy, but then that complete joy uh, comes about uh, having um, outshining in compassion. So, um, and obviously, before even you reach the first ground, uh, you got to go to. Um, if actually, actually um, if reaching the first ground is has been it's been said that you have been the second eon of practice, uh, so that is what this um, uh, measurable distance is about. So, in the first eon, even before reaching that, uh, one will be in a state of. Uh, listening and learning the Dharma. And that is the part what you call uh, uh, the, uh, the part of accumulation of all the uh, understanding and teachings that you have and the application of the Dharma in your daily life. Then we graduate uh, to the first, first ground. So in Master's explanation, certain beings possess a deeply hidden nature and a deeply hidden nature is our intrinsic nature. Why is it? Um, not only is it hidden nature, but it's deeply hidden. Deeply hidden because it's through many eons in the past, we have buried in uh, encrustation and obscuration. So therefore, it's the reason why it's deeply hidden. And because uh, it's deeply hidden, it's uh, so that will deeply buried our nature through suchness. And, um, and although we inherently uh, have this natural wisdom in, in us, but um, and we, and a lot of the time, I think all of us are not aware because this is the moment that you, you all understand that the 12 uh, links of causation or, or the 12 links of cyclic existence. So when we take birth and we have all this uh, karma that we have brought up from our past uh, life, and when we are born and we have our six sensory organs and we are and in contact with externalities, and that create the consciousness and existence where we have at the skandhas. And um, so as a result of which our, our, our mind is being taken over by all the external conditions and all the worldly winds that we live in. So as a result of which, and even when we go for school education, um, it's always you, uh, the teacher will teach us you. So we have been brought up that way, have been grown up that way. And uh, so as a result of which, um, we keep seeking what's outside. So, and we're seeking outside, it's deluded, deluded because that's the worldly ways. And, 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 and only, I want to judge your success uh, by worldly standards, by worldly measures. And that has a result of which uh, the journey to seek for the truth we're forgotten to seek inside. So we are constantly pursuing knowledge from external sources. And uh, that is uh, what it is, and I must say uh, in the explanation. So this part about the first ground uh, of uh, Bodhisattva Hood uh, is outshining with compassion. So in this outshining compassion, uh, based on master explanation said, benefiting on and relieving the suffering, bringing joy and benefit uh, to others. So we deal with great compassion, we feel others' pain as of our own. 
so loving kindness, compassion, we see always suffers, all sentient beings as one. And it's called universal uh, compassion, irrespective of who they are, you will feel that the pain of others, even though you do not know that person. So we must continue to seek the Buddha's wisdom and virtue to nourish ourselves, and so that our wisdom life can grow. So we, and so in so doing, so we use the four infinite minds our loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity to bring peace and joy to all sentient beings. So this joy that we have uh, in the first ground, uh, Bodhisattva, who, uh, is that state of complete joy that we will share uh, with others. So uh, summary the lessons learned. We aspire to go among the people, no matter the conditions. So, and but we need to adapt our, um, ourselves to whatever condition we may face. And that is to make sure that we are not endangered and to make sure that we are in, uh, can spread that ocean compassion um, in, a, in um, skillful means. And at the same time, we do not get defiled by the, um, the uh, characters of others. So in so doing, we help them become peaceful and joyful. And, um, and this loving kindness, uh, loving kindness, right? The loving kindness can measure sympathetic joy and equanimity. So in this loving kindness, uh, this benefits heaven beings and humans, but with compassion, we liberate all sentient beings in the three weary realms and we lift the suffering. Now that is what the Bodhisattvas uh, can do, but for us who are uh, not enlightened beings, because the first ground Bodhisattva group is already a enlightened being. So they do that. And so Master Zahran explained to us, this is what we should emulate to do when we attain Bodhisattva. So in contemplation, um, the, um, I, I've shared something similar on this before, but this is from a different uh, perspective, a different angle. Um, flow in your practice beyond the sound of the mind. You see, the mind, because, um, and again, go back to the cyclic existence, the mind can only discern worldly sounds. And um, that's what the worldly mind is. So we got to go beyond the sound of the mind so that we do not uh, get uh, mesmerized by the noise of the world. So we respond to the glaring call of compassion with wisdom. And we do so skillfully. This is the part that must just explain that when we look at the, um, the condition of how we can uh, spread the joy and, and help, we got to look at the condition and we do so skillfully. The sound of worldly cause can drown your senses. And this worldly cause that we face, uh, people uh, could be demanding in your either work level, it could be your friends, it can be so on and so forth. So therefore, we need to really then understand, um, because if you not, then this worldly cause will enable, will make you react rather than respond in the Dharma. So in emptiness of the noise, listen to the sound of silence with compassion and wisdom. So only that in that stillness, I must have done, I think was yesterday, right? So in that stillness, that only then we know that what can apply the Dharma with compassion and wisdom. And the echoes of goodness are truly endless. And you will find that um, whatever good that you do will spread right through. And the echoes will move your heart. And this is the joy that Master was speaking about. So on relationship, um, it is, this is simple, uh, but it's a little bit long. Um, see, how do you think the world will transform? And I, I put down four actions here, never hurt, ever help, ever care, and always serve. These are what I call, uh, this is for me, um, I, uh, this is the four practice, or I call it the four great practices, never hurting, ever helpful, ever caring, always serving. And this, I put it as a practice of a householder. Okay. So how do you think the world will transform if you never hurt, ever helpful, ever caring, always serving? Destruction of the earth will stop. There will be no more wars. Disputes will end. Commandary returns. Suffering will be elevated. 
Benevolence is the rule of the day. Loving kindness will blossom with compassion and wisdom. This is what the world has been waiting for and is waiting for you. Okay, God and brothers and sisters, thank you. Yeah, God, God and so much, uh, Brother Jin. Benevolence. Uh, very good uh, sharing. It's like, yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to please on your video. We uh, take a group photo. Uh, I think Brother Chin and Sister Carping and Sister Siti will be leaving us. Yes, perfect. Wonderful, wonderful sharing uh, from uh, Sister Carping and uh, Brother Chin to start the, the day. Yeah. Okay, uh, while we're taking the group photo, maybe we can uh, also uh, uh, do a hari tak dengar 